This morning, Oklahoma Congressman Tom Cole and Congresswoman Kendra Horn are self-quarantined after they had contact with another lawmaker who tested positive for coronavirus. We're checking in with Representative Kendra Horn this morning live via Skype. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to chat with us this morning. Good morning. Happy to talk to you. Thanks for having me on. Well, first we need to ask you, are you feeling okay? Do you have any symptoms? And is there anything that you can do while self-quarantined uh, for Congress? Absolutely. Uh, first, I, I am feeling fine. I don't have any symptoms, thankfully, but the self-quarantine uh, is a precaution based on the recommendations of uh, my physician, of the house attending physician, and the best medical advice. And yes, absolutely. Thanks to modern technology, the way that we're speaking, I am working uh, day in and day out for the people of Oklahoma and the 5th District uh, as we move forward with the next package and uh, still continue to work to address the implications and impacts of the coronavirus and COVID-19 across the country. Very important that we talk. Well, good to hear. I'm glad to hear you're feeling well, first of all. But also, we want to talk about the coronavirus relief bill and this latest one, which both of our senators, Inhofe and Langford, voted no on. You had voted yes on. They voted no because they were saying it might hurt local businesses, one element of that package. Do you share any of those concerns? I, I disagree with the, the conclusions that they came to. This bill that the House passed late Friday night, early Saturday morning of last week, uh, is one that was strongly bipartisan in both the House and the Senate in its final passage. And I think it's important to note that we're, we're living in extraordinary times. This public health crisis is something that none of us have faced before. And it is important that we as Congress uh, and, and as elected officials at all levels work to help our communities. I am focused on getting the answers, the information, and the resources to families, individuals, to our small businesses, to whole industries. And though imperfect, and, and I think if we had more time, there are more that we could do, that bill goes a long way to help people. Uh, it provides critical support for, uh, for businesses uh, for, uh, and for individuals. It, it includes free testing uh, and, and paid leave, paid sick leave. Uh, increased access to uh, to unemployment benefits. And that's that's just the next step. We are now moving forward to a third bill after our first $8.3 billion funding package that we passed. I'd really like your thoughts on what's going on here in Oklahoma right now, as the governor has not enacted any type of statewide mandate, leaving it up to the cities. Are we prioritizing the economy over safety? I think it is very important for us to follow the recommendations and the advice of the healthcare experts. I'm really glad to see both Oklahoma City and Tulsa declare states of emergency. And uh, I, I hope that the, the governor continues uh, and to follow suit. Uh, right now, what we're talking about is an unprecedented virus uh, and, and potential spread of, of, of a deadly uh, infection, a deadly virus that could kill and, and hurt a lot of Oklahomans. We are still struggling with access to sufficient testing, uh, an issue that, that we're working on at the federal level and I know that the state is working on. But one thing we do know from the experts, from the epidemiologist, is that we have to flatten the curve. We have to make sure that, that people are social distancing because this virus uh, is not something that we have a treatment for yet or, or a vaccine for. And so one of the most effective ways to do that is by creating social distancing. And, and, and that, sadly, is also having an impact on our economy and on, on our businesses. That's why the next package that we're working on in Congress will include support for small businesses, for individuals. Uh, we are having to look at things in a whole new way, but we'll continue to act. Now, though, it is really important that people in our communities take the steps they need to create distance so we can slow the spread of this virus. There are so many different concerns, laundry list of elements we could go through. What's on the top of your list? What is your biggest concern? Number of tests or something else? I, I, I think I have, I, have, I have few, quite a few concerns, but the number of tests is at the very top of the list. I've been in contact with uh, elected officials and, and health, uh, public health experts at the state level and the Oklahoma City County level 
And one of their biggest concerns is the access to tests, and we're continuing to work on that, uh, as well as the access to personal protective equipment for healthcare officials. Uh, that's that is a and and the the ability for us and the hospitals and the healthcare providers to treat individuals who contract COVID-19. Uh, but we are also incredibly concerned about the impact that this is having on families and on individuals uh, because of social distancing, people working from home, people who are quarantined, the the fact that our schools are closed. And and I I believe that we have that the that the state. Uh, superintendent has made the right decision and the right calls on this, um, as have a, a number of other uh, a number of other cities. But we have to continue, and that's why Congress is needs to continue to take actions to help small businesses uh, keep the doors open or keep the lights on for when they come back into business. That's why it's important for us to provide supports for uh, for families and individuals uh, as we move along through paid leave, uh, through unemployment. And, and making sure that the businesses can get the resources they need to continue so they can open their doors back up uh, when we get on the other side of, of this uh, public health emergency. Representative Horn, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Good to talk to you this morning.